Okay, so we are today looking at opportunity deal room creation and account team swarming. So I'm going to create an opportunity name and I am going to set this amount to 200,000, give it a required close date and I'm going to save. Now watch the upper right hand corner of my screen. Let's go take a look at that. If you look here you can see that a Slack channel has been created for this particular opportunity. It's prefixed with deal room. Uh, it says FUBAR Spring Renewal. Notice as well that three people have been invited to this. I've been invited to this. Three other people, two other people have invited to this. Who are they? Who are Aaron Yeager and Steven Maturin? Well, those are the account team members for the FUBAR Co account. If we go down here, you can see that Aaron and Steven uh, are on the account team for FUBAR Co, so they've been automatically added. So that's pretty cool. Uh, and what I uh, have furthermore done here is I've set it up so that this <coughs> will only affect amounts greater than one hundred thousand dollars. So just to just to just to demonstrate that, let's go here and uh, say Fubarco small extra side deal. and no deal room gets created. So, and there's nothing special about $100,000, but you can get the sense there of how you can flexibly decide when it really makes sense to uh, create a deal room. So let's take a look at how this is done in flow. Uh, th this is done in two parts. The first flow uh, is triggering on the creation of the opportunity. And you can see that right here is where I have, I have basically stated that I only want this particular automation to run if the amount is greater than or equal to 100,000. And what it's doing here is it's calling a, sep a separate flow to create the deal room. And it's using the ability to dynamically launch a flow. And I have to do that because of an interaction between record triggers and the callouts that use the Slack API. That's something we're working on addressing. Uh, but so the real magic happens when this deal room flow gets created. So let's take a look at the rest of this flow. Uh, we retrieve the full opportunity. We extract the account team members that belong to that opportunities related account. So you can see here we've said the opportunities accounts ID find all the account team members that match that. Then we essentially convert those account team members into user records. And we're doing that because this, we need the Slack user IDs. And in this particular case, the Slack user IDs are a field on the user object. They might not be in your org, in which case you'd want to want to modify this. But basically, uh, if we went and looked at a user record, you'd see that there's a Slack ID field and it's got the Slack ID in it. So we, we convert the account team members to users and then we extract the Slack IDs from those users. And then we start calling Slack itself and say, hey, create a Slack channel, invite me, and then invite the account team. And what you see here are a lot of flow actions. Two of these creating, actually these last three, are all available in a recently published package of Slack actions. So you'll get those by installing that package. Um, and then this one right here is called Extract Strings from Collection. Uh, and that comes from a package of collection utilities. It's just called the collection actions package. Uh, and then the final piece here is we've got a subflow uh, that gets the account team user records from the account team members. Um, and that uses a couple more actions as well. 
So you can see a lot of potential here. You can do things like invite different people. Um, maybe next what we'll do is uh, I'll show you a demonstration of how you could seek approval uh, from some higher up if uh, the deal uh, had a quote associated with it, the opportunity. So a lot of potential here for nice automation. And meanwhile, here we are in our, in our deal room, ready to go.